imagine having a audience, right? As a teacher, right? You imagine having an audience where everyone that was in that audience actually wanted the information that you were going to share. (laughs) <laughs> that that's what that's essentially the scenario when you are teaching in the online space. Uh, that's essentially the state the scenario. You have students who have not own who are not only motivated to learn what you're teaching, they have searched for it. Uh, what you're teaching is actually the answer to what they've been looking for. It's a complete flip. And I believe that when the question is asked, does live video work for teachers? The answer is an unequivocal yes. Another question that I constantly get is, does does live video really make lasting connections? I mean, you're online with these people, whether you're online with the person who is on screen or you're online with the other people who are in the comments, whether you're in a teaching environment, how to environment, I don't know, even social environments. Can it really foster true, lasting and deep connections. We just had a conference at my church. Uh, We called it in real life. We've been streaming our worship experience for the better part of the last couple of years, maybe even decade. Uh, But especially coming into the pandemic, we ramped it up. And I came on a couple years after and really helped to raise the standard and and bring it to the next level in keeping with the tradition that this church has already had. And so this in real life weekend was an opportunity for those who had been worshiping with us all over the country and some parts outside of the country to come here to where we are to worship together in real life. It was over the course of a weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm telling you, having sat through that weekend, I'm telling you, having seen people meeting one another who they've seen in the comments with tears flowing down their faces, that the the connections that they're making in the digital space, the connections that they're making while live streaming is happening, the connections that you're making while the live video is being delivered, they are real. So if you ask me, does live video work for teachers? Can it be used to deepen connections? My unequivocal answer is a resounding and capital yes. 18 to 37 year olds are the most frequent viewers of live stream video in the US. 52% of live video viewers stream content through social media. Video streaming accounted for nearly half of all downstream internet traffic. What does it all mean? Let's find out on the Why I Go Live podcast with Coach Kirk. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Listen, 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 fam. We are excited. We're excited. The Why I Go Live podcast continues and we are picking up steam. The momentum is building. We can feel it. We can feel it. And I want to say this right in the outset. Today is a solo uh, episode where I'm going to get a chance to engage with you around this particular thing of can live streaming really deepen connections? Can live streaming work as a means of education? Can it work for teachers? I want to really hone in on both of those. That is our question for today. But I also want to make sure we get our our stats and our stats are going to be in keeping with that as well. And I also want to say this, our next episode, I've got a a, a content creator, content entrepreneur, a teacher who's going to come on and share her particular experience and why she feels live video is the right way. So we're excited about this uh, two part series. And we're going to dive into that with some Uh, statistics right here. And and the first one, of course, you see on the screen, 62% of people believe that video helps to make teachers lectures more effective. 62% believe that it makes it more effective. And now the only thing that's better than video is live video because it's two way. And especially when you're teaching, you want to have that interaction. All right. All right. Here's another one. E-learning is expected to be worth a 325 billion by 2025. That's from Forbes. What? (laughs) Clearly, this is not only working, it is exponential and we love it. Uh, Here's our third. 81% of students report that digital learning technology, including video, helps them learn. That's from Statistica. It helps them learn. It helps them learn. There's something about the visual and the audio 
interaction and engagement. And then, of course, the cognitive, you're having to type, you're having to consume, you're having to really focus in and pay attention when someone is in a video, those senses are all being pulled at and it causes you to be more directly focused and engaged. And it means that learning can happen in a real and critical way. Listen, this question, does live video work for teachers? Can it be used to deepen connections? I want to say this, man. It's 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 almost unfair. You never heard of uh, fishing with dynamite um, because you as a teacher have a captive audience, but not only a captive audience and probably captive is not even the right word. You have an audience of learners who want to be there. The most frustrating thing I've been told from teachers, and I am a a pseudo teacher as, as a YouTuber. My sister calls me a teacher. But in even outside of that, my primary job uh, when I used to travel was to train. I would go to different places and I would train. I am an instructor. And one of the things that is always frustrating to instructors is having people sitting in those seats in front of them who don't necessarily want to learn what you're teaching. And when you are teaching online, you don't have to worry about that. That's a major one. We're talking about the impact of live streaming and why people go live. And we're dealing specifically with educators and, of course, that deeper connection. Um, and that deeper connection part, I, 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 share the, I share this all the time. I see people, I get a chance to meet people when I go to conferences and go to different places. I, I went to podcast, uh, PodFest, I should say. It was in Orlando a year or so ago. I was one of the speakers there for their Amazon live track. And I'm walking in and these two girls, these two ladies, I should say, they w walk up to me and they're like, you're Kirk, you're the Geek Speaker Preacher. I'm like, that's me, what's going on? And they were like, well, you didn't have on your beanie. I don't have it on today and it's probably not a good thing, but you didn't have on your beanie. So we, we weren't 100% sure, we just wanted to confirm. We came to this conference to meet you and I was blown away. And we sat and we talked as if we had been old friends for years and years and years. Why? Because we had made a very deep connection while online, while online. So the answer to those questions is a resounding yes. The answer to those questions is a resounding yes. You want to serve at scale. You want to create those deep connections. You want to be able to show people what you know you have to offer. Absolutely, you can do that with live streaming. I got this comment from uh, Mark Collins, and I think it's so fitting for me to share right here. He says, hello, Kirk. I'm just getting started teaching online in out school. Uh, I am using Ecamm Live to record my lessons. I would love to do a live stream that is specific to online teachers. I thought this was phenomenal. I want to say kudos to Mark uh, for being able to share this. This was shared during a live stream a couple of weeks ago and maybe even a month or so ago now where I was asking my audience, why do you go live? And so here is a guy who is already using video and particularly live and Ecamm. He's tasted the power of it and he's realizing that he could use it to do more. He's learning skill sets because he has to record his lessons and he's using that in Ecamm Live. And so now he's thinking, I could actually take what I've learned, the skills I've learned to be able to use this platform and create a community for people who serve the way I do. See, he's an online teacher who wants to create a community and a platform for online teachers. Isn't that awesome? And I, I share this because I, I don't just want to answer the question. I want to give you practical examples of how this could be used in everyday life, how, we, how others are using it. He wants to create a community where he can serve people the way that he that where he wants to create a community where he can serve people who serve the way he serves. <laughs> it is like serve like 50 times in there. It's a tongue twister. One of the things I love about those who are dive into these spaces, you want to you want to be able to create content. You want to be able to leverage the power of live video. Well, let me just say this right here. If you are, if you're a course creator, if you're a teacher, if you want to get into how to, you want to make sure a couple of things. Number one, you want to know what you have improved. Number one. Number two, you want to know what obstacles you have overcome. List them out. Write them down. What have you overcome? What have I learned and become exceptional at? 
not just good, but exceptional at. And especially if you have this, you know, this clear trajectory of where you were not that good <laughs> to where now you are exceptional, you want to be able to highlight that. I, I ask these questions because a lot of times people are saying, I want to get this. I want to do this. Like Mark Collins has said, I'd love to be able to set up this community for on, for those who serve the way he does for online teachers. That's the that's this is these are the questions you want to ask yourselves. What? are my skills and expertise that I can share with others in a way that's meaningful, in a way that answers their question because they've been looking for it. Those are some of the things that I think are absolutely amazing when it comes on to the awesome and ridiculous opportunity that is live streaming. There was one other comment pertaining to our other question for today's show, and that is, you know, whether or not we these these live streets can help to deepen bonds. This was was from K Walk Comedy. This was during that same live show with Mark Collins, and so she says, "Why do I go live?" She wrote the question out first. It helps me bond with my brother and our audience. Let me just repeat that one more time. It helps me to bond with my brother and our audience. I want to say a word of thanks for to K Walk for coming through and, and sharing this. This was one that blew my mind. When you create a, a scenario where you're working together with a family member or a loved one or a friend, you're in the trenches. You're having to do the prep work. Getting ready for a live stream and, and doing live video and live content creation, it is it is going to take some effort and energy and you will be developing muscles there. You're in a space that se several others will simply not be able to understand. And what K-Walk recognized is that doing this with her brother, her brother is her co-host for this particular live show, doing this with her brother has caused them to be bonded even deeper. But not only that, she goes on to say, and our audience and our audience, the audience members are the beneficiaries of the work her and her brother are doing. And every time you show up prepared, every time you show up rehearsed, every time you show up uh, uh, with something already designed for them to consume, when you show up with an unequivocal level of value, your audience appreciates it, your audience is impacted by it, your audience and you will bond together. That is impact. This this question that says, does live video work for teachers? Uh, can it be used to deepen connections? I want to tell you absolutely. Yes, it does. As they say, it doesn't have to be internal for it to be impactful. I hope that you saw yourself in these stories, in these questions today. I hope that you will tune back in next week when we have uh, uh, one of our, our, our one of these content creators who is magnanimous. <laughs> We're super excited to be able to have her come through and hang out with us on the Why I Go Live podcast. And I think, I think, I think, regardless of where you are, regardless of whether you're a teacher or not, if you want to get into how-to content, finance content, family life content, doesn't matter what your niche or industry or discipline or expertise is. I think that you will benefit not only from today's conversation, not only from today's podcast, but from next week's podcast as well. That's what this space has been uniquely and specifically designed for the why I go live podcast. We are going around the web asking people of different backgrounds and disciplines, different expertise. Why do you use live streaming? Why are you using this method and this vehicle to share what you have? And is it working for you? I hope that somewhere in the statistics, in the stories and the questions from others who I, I've been able to glean over the course of different shows, I hope that even as we responded and answered these questions today, that you were able to see the interesting and unequivocal impact that live video can have. And I, if you're ready to take that plunge, I'd love to be able to work with you. Definitely check us out. Uh, how it all works 
kirkandrewson.com is our show page. But if you go to kirkandrewson.com slash support, that is our page that has everything on there, our membership, our coaching uh, services, different uh, graphics packages, different courses, everything is on that page. And we'd love to be able to work with you in, in ways that will allow you to get over whatever obstacles are in your way from using this vehicle of live streaming to serve the audience that you are uniquely and almost sometimes unfairly designed to serve. Well, fam, it's your boy Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher. Thankful for your time and attention. We'll see you around these internet streets or in the next audio stream. Why I Go Live, hosted by Coach Kirk, is a composition production. Real streamers, honest stories, and incredible impact. Add your voice to the conversation. Go to kirkrnugent.live forward slash member to join the community. And let's figure out how it all works.